Uh, friends, uh, before we give the benediction, we will be having a little short program of uh, distributing love gifts to our senior citizens. And I'll invite Mrs. Seema Emerson to come over here and uh, bless our elders with a token of love. And I'll also request all the young children and small children to come over and help out in giving the gifts. Mrs. Seema Emerson. Can I request all the seniors to please come forward here? May the Lord give you strength. Please come. We'll have a good photograph also and a special prayer at the end. Yes, come on, children. Help out. Hurry up, hurry up. Good. Uncle Auntie Johnson are here.
I think everybody has got. Is there anybody who is amongst us and uh, is a senior citizen would like to uh, give you the gift as well? Okay, let's all rise. And we'll be praying especially for our elders, thanking God and praising him for their lives and to be a blessing to all of us. I'll be reading Psalm 92, 12 to 14, 12 to 15. It says, the righteous flourish like palm tree and grow like cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age. They are ever full of sap and green to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. May the Lord add his blessing on the reading and hearing of his word. And we praise God for our, all our elders here this morning. And it is very true as we have experienced today how they have led us into a time of wonderful worshipping. Not only we could not, all of them could not come at this time, but we know time and again, all of them have been ministering to the church, ministering to the families and children's children, even to the third generation. They have been a blessing. So let's uphold them in our prayers. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we once again thank you for this beautiful day of worshipping you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for speaking to us also, reminding us of the peace you have given us. And Lord, we thank you for all our elders, those who are here and those for some reason could not come to church also. Thank you for their lives, their faith. And above all, Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness in their lives. And even, Lord, they are growing in their ears. But we thank you for your wonderful promises that you will hold them and even you will carry them in your arms. What a loving God you are. What a loving Father you are. We pray that be with each one of them and may your presence keep them happy and joyful and hopeful and bless them with the desired strength, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, which each one of them needs. Bless them with happy homes and above all, may your presence keep them happy and joyful. Once again, we are so thankful to you and to them for their lives, their faith, which they are passing on to the coming generation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and sweet communion of Holy Spirit, rest and abide with each one of us, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Thank you so much. God bless you. We praise God that He has given you enough strength to be here today, and you are always a blessing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pastor is also a senior citizen. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Please. Let's enjoy it. Thank you so much. We have a request, all the blue tables for the seniors, so uh, the youngsters, please don't use those tables. And let's join. So let's join for our fellowship lunch, uh, which is arranged outside. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time of fellowshipping and please join us in the fellowship lunch. God bless you all. <laughs>